Hello everyone, welcome to the video on endocrinology questions for pharma competitive exams. These questions I have taken from 2019 ESI pharmacist examination and these are useful for all pharma competitive examinations. Let us look at the questions first. The first one is an element having a vital role in the biosynthesis of thyroid hormone is. Options given are option 1 zinc, option 2 chlorine, option 3 bromine, option 4 iodine. In the human body we have two thyroid hormones are there T3 and T4. T3 stands for triiodothyronine, T4 stands for tetraiodothyronine. T4 is also known as thyroxine. The 3 and 4 indicates number of elemental iodine present in that hormone. So the thyroid hormone, uh, the, the important element is iodine. So answer for this question is option number 4. Now thyroid hormone controls basal metabolic rate, development, growth, everything is depend upon thyroid hormones. So let us move on to the next question. Now which of the following is a nonapeptide hormone produced by posterior pituitary gland? Options given are 1 prolactin, 2 vasopressin, 3 aldosterone, 4 thyroxine. Now see, uh, posterior pituitary gland releases two of the hormones, oxytocin and vasopressin. Vasopressin is also known as antidiuretic hormone. Diuresis means increase in urinary output. Antidiuretic vasopressin is known as antidiuretic. The reason is it increases aquaporins, a channel which reabsorbs water into the body. When water is reabsorbed, diuresis is reduced. That's why it is called as antidiuretic hormone. It is a peptide hormone made up of 9 uh, amino acids, hence it is known as nona peptide. So the answer for this question is option 2 that is vasopressin. Now let us see the remaining options. One prolactin is, is a hormone which is responsible for uh, lactation in nursing mothers. Now aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid which is responsible for sodium and water reabsorption. Thyroxine as we have discussed just now, tetraiodothyronine is a thyroid hormone part. Now, let us move on to the next question. Glucocorticoids are involved in options given are sodium metabolism, potassium metabolism, fat metabolism, fluid balance. Now the natural glucocorticoid which is present in human body is cortisol. Now there are two different kinds of corticosteroids are there. Adrenal cortex releases their hormones hence they are known as corticoid hormones or, or corticoids. Mineralocorticoid and glucocorticoid. Aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid which controls mineral metabolism. Glucocorticoid is a cortisol is a uh, hormone which controls fat and carbohydrate metabolism. So the answer for this question is fat metabolism. What happens is uh, glucocorticoids increases free fatty acid available in the blood circulation. It, it, it breaks down lipids by increasing the activity of lipoprotein lipase. So they have uh, a, a, a remarkable role on fat, fat metabolism. Now let us move on to the next question. Uh, which of the following hormone inhibits the secretion of insulin, glucagon and growth hormone? Options given are somatostatin, thyroxine, melatonin, serotonin. Now see, uh, somatostatin is also known as growth hormone inhibiting hormone. Not only that, somatostatin also inhibits insulin and glucagon release also. Pancreatic hormones as well as growth hormone, all of them release will get inhibited by somatostatin. So the answer for this question is option number one. Thyroxine, we have just now seen it is thyroid hormone. Now melatonin is a hormone which is responsible for producing sleep. Now the last one serotonin, serotonin has got multiple roles in the, in the brain. Uh, uh, serotonin will be acting on multiple receptors and according to one of the research, uh, it is responsible for the a kind of pleasantness in the human brain. Increase in exercise increases the levels of serotonin or getting exposed to sunlight increases the levels of serotonin. So this is how serotonin acts as a natural antidepressant. If you remember antidepressants, the major group are SSRIs, serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. By increasing serotonin levels, depression can be countered. So this can be done by natural ways, doing exercise or getting exposed to sun. Anyway, uh, so the answer for this question is somatostatin, which uh, reduces the release of growth hormone as well as insulin and glucose. I hope these are useful. All the best.